Dear viewers, I welcome you to the Press Express talk show, Policy Talks. Today, we do have a guest, Mr. Shamshir Mabed Jaudhri, chairperson of Chernomot PFP. People of our country, they love to know from your part. Is why have you left BNP? I left BNP in 2015. Oh, uh, yes, eight years ago. And uh, the reason I showed all my education better, basically I said I'm retiring from politics. However, at the end of my letter, I also added being a freedom fighter, and having inherent love for my country. If at some future time, health permits, and if I have the opportunity for the people of Bangladesh and for then uh, I will make myself real. So I think the uh, normal BNP had given me this for some time, for the 2018 election, I would be talking about Bangladesh. But I was very dis disillusioned with what they were doing, or what basically were given what. So I officially there with that noticed for whom I had a lot of respect as an individual. Uh, in any case, now, uh, Dr. Barrister Najpur Buddha and I have known each other personally and his family. Very, very good. Najpur Buddha is a founder of Chandler Pet. Uh, he was also founder member of BAP. Yeah, so the principles. Right. And uh, we all know what happened to him. Eventually, even being an honor member, he had to leave. We all know that our new generation, they they have not that much of idea. We could just make a little bit, few lines of well, he, he had serious uh, disagreements with some of the things that we were doing. Not. Uh, one thing he said that any political problem between the two major parties, the Wabedi and they controlled about 80 match papers on a different space of And he had very strongly suggested that there should be a dialogue to resolve uh, any issue, there should be an element of compromise to resolve any issue, which the BNP leadership thought very challenge. I'm a strong believer in dialogue. War uh, has not solved as many problems as dialogue. Brother, dialogue has solved many more problems than war. So I always believe that the art, or this is the art of compromise. You cannot say I 100% of what I have. And you have to learn to converse, about compromise, and then find a consensus. But is it real to all sides, which people are the dish? Because at the end of the day, it is not the interest of the part, it is the part of the country, or the people who you do. Why, who have to be target of your policy? Exactly, we all know you are a brilliant freedom fighter, a seasoned diplomat. You served on which five minutes. One secretary, a military person. So you do have a very strong art, strong norm. I will say truth is hard, but you uh, have mentioned in your resignation address to the NP that on your health issues, you just you are living there. But was it so kind of you know diplomatic plea that is it was not the main point. It was rather behavior, the pattern of his political notes that he said they are with very very close to Jamaat Islam. Because you are a very fit of okay, and uh, we are association more of uh, we some sponsors, and that triggered you to leave them. You see, there are many things that you disagree with. In, you don't say all of that. You say many of the things behind closed doors within those session of the political thought in the political. But when you take a decision, major decision, to decide 
ostensive reason showing is health. So then nobody here, you know, question. Well, I showed my health teachings, but I also left the option though that if I have chance in the future, opportunity, not chance, opportunity to serve the people, being a freedom fighter, I love. The first stop is always my country. I think of my just maybe what is just perhaps significant in the larger context of all the pressure, the goal of travels of Today we see huge difference between the rich and the poor. Yes, I must say over the past eight years, our part of me, she deserves all the credit for what she has done. But when the man in the village today knows that if he buys potato, he cannot buy onions. And if he buys onions, he cannot buy eggs. Prime Minister, who can build for the bridge, who can start metro raid in the country, was unthinkable 10 years ago. Limited express rates, people give you from one place to the other, but we keep. All this is rated. You are talking about, I mean, for this marginal edge, right? We fought, we fought for that. We fought the people who fought for, for the marginalized people of society, the deprived people of society. We are a little part of Going back to the memory of 7th of March, the great speech delivered by the power of the nation, Thomas Ewell. You were at the time very young officer. What was, was the emotion you were triggered with? I think the uh, my analysis of the historic 7th of March 1971 speech, I would say the declaration of the of the nation, significant of it. First of all, if you look at the 23 years of United Pakistan, this was definitely the first time that the leader of a major mainstream political party, or that the only major mainstream, through an ultimatum to the government of Pakistan, that you withdraw Marshall, send the army back to the barracks, investigate all the killings that have taken place, he can do the business and hand over power to elected representatives. So, as an elected leader of the largest party, that was had enough seats to form the government. In Such an ultimate in itself shows his courage, his conviction, his commitment. The other significance is why he was throwing this ultimate was also telling the Bangladesh people, the Mongolians, that prepare yourself to fight the enemy. You use the word enemy, you know who the enemy is. Whatever you have, be prepared to fight. We have given blood, we're ready to give more blood for your faith. If you do not meet these objectives, then remember that this time our liberation, our movement is power liberation, our movement is power. It was perhaps the most brilliant piece of oratory and it spoke exterior, both in form and its houses. The speech of a responsible political leader that only was still the world Throw Sakati in the to say that make these demands, remember our struggle is for our freedom and for our he prepared the people for a very dark sky war, right? If that, and see if I sun meets soil. That is the historic and the real battle of, of all the speech. Sir, I do call the second uh, participation of the Liberation War that you had lead it general again. But, sir, we shut up vision. Where do you want to see? General BNP. The word BNP, Trinamool BNP, not Bangladesh Nationalist. It is Trinamool Bangladesh National. Okay. Trinamool BNP is Trinamool Bangladesh National. National Park. In reality, it is corporate. The base. But even in our small field, it is our living. If you get really up there, the people of the country. 
try to create a national consensus on the values of our heritage, on the spirit of our heritage, that we need to like Sal, to catch the election train? Of course, we want to vote elections. People can express themselves, express their choice, and provided that the election is free, the election is fair, the election is peaceful, that the civil administration, law enforcement agencies, play their role in a neutral manner, and provided that the power that has been given to our election commission by our law set. And the election commission be allowed to use that power card. Sir, so with due respect, that probability, 187 this probability of election commission strand to go free. I think in terms of the legal power that we give it to the election, it's immense, it's huge. But let the election commission play their role as part of the powers that is given to them to see our constitution says, our law says, that the moment the election schedule is announced, the executive power to order the election, transfer of civil administrators, etc. Yeah. So let the election commission enforce the power that give it. Then you can have a freedom. Is your push to the party on gets any invitation to sit or a dial? I think it is very important for the nation. Every major book, or every small book. Have we got any kind of communications? We have not yet bought many communications. We feed the business. But in our course, in a matter of day, it's all and better. Suggesting that we like the dialogue. We, we should also probably have a dialogue with the police. What I want And explain our views. Where we stand apart. Yep. You are not seasoned diplomats. Our valiant freedom fighter having this significant identity with this should lie to arm situation that some of major foreign power are intervening into the politics of Bangladesh. Examine it. But I think the own principle of interference in the internal affairs of a country actually tantamounts to violation of international law. Whether it is Russia's invasion of Ukraine or whether it is somebody's making, you know, state credits or taking decisions on upcoming national nation of Bangladesh. They're all acts of interference of internal affairs of the countries. So we hope they will come to their senses and not interfere with the Internal affairs. We are a responsible country. We have proven to the world that we are a responsible country. When the whole Western world is against the idea of you know, foreigners coming into the country, and they are given up country, the richer countries. We are not a given up country yet. We are not a rich country. But even then, our Prime Minister gave shelter to more than a million Rohingya refugees. But we This is by doing. And it has been a few burdens. It's a problem we did not create. It's a problem created by Myanmar. And then our prime minister gave you a shelter. But he shows that Bangladesh is a responsible regional and a global player. We are located very strategically. Now, those who are issuing different policies and making decisions, do they do the same with every country in the world? So that means there is an element of contradiction in their policies and in their position. There are many countries with whom uh, countries have very important and political, geopolitical relationship. But even the proper relation is not. Relation is never held. In one party states, there's nothing for relations. But they maintain very good that they don't make a statement about the fair participatory protection or we have a visa policy, this or that. So why do they you know, play this dual game in this city, which I think is moral and very long. Do they have any other interest behind their game? That is something I think the government, responsibility of the government. I you see this idea, geopolitical game. This is, of course, this is everything today, geopolitical. Bilateral relationships today are set up on geopolitical. Right at the moment, 
since Bangladesh is PC, you know, geopolitical vessels, it's becoming geopolitical passports. Do you please go share on it? How do you examine he sees in diplomats? Well, I can express that view individually as a person of the great best of view on behalf of my part, we do what part of the special part. And our part is, is that no one that today is this, you know, there is for bilateral relationships. Historic here, which India is very important, take a very crucial role in our war, liberation, and sacrifice lives. So we have to maintain that relationship. Yeah. In a very strong, but in a very positive way, where there is mutual respect, mutual gains, and uh, we could benefit. But today, in the current global scenario, uh, everything is about our geopolitics. And we are the caught in this middle of storm of geopolitics that is now taking place not only outside the world, but also in our part of the world, certainly in the Indo-Pacific. And yet, we have... Yeah, but there are many players right at the moment. The one in India, the China, Russia, America, and all of them are... I wish I had forgotten in Japan. We were studying at yes. all many parts of the The French president was in Bangladesh recently. And so when you look at the series of visits to Bangladesh, I contacted the Russian foreign minister visited Bangladesh on his way to Delhi and the French president visited Bangladesh on my life after the G20. At the G20, our prime minister was only the only South Asian leader who was invited. A sense of satisfaction for us. Our president was invited to the ASEAN summit. Please, um, no, that said, I'm uh, very much interested with the state managed by the all of the so that it proceeds, which is yeah. also the so we, we be be stated in the uh, in the Pacific of our, which was uh, we be that in said. a peaceful, inclusive, and a safe Indus. It's a very critical area. It's a very, very vital and strategically located. We are in that reach through the beyond. So we have to have a very well thought out in the Pacific outlook that we think it is time also to look beyond about outlook is neither the strategy nor a voice. It is about so what should be when our opponents are guided by our interests that it has to remain peaceful and it has to be peaceful. Now this is a very challenging task for a country. Refugees from Running a United States, with India, with China, Japan, Australia, uh, with the UK. And we don't want to belong to any particular military alliance, which shows a lot of uh, maturity around that we believe in military cooperation, by that, or even regionally or something, you know, but not we have part of it. Thank you very much, Body and Kachi. So very much. Thank you so much. I look forward to remaining in touch with the Express in the future. And I will also encourage you to carry out your journalism in a true professional manner, in a very objective manner, so that people of Bangladesh, English leaders, look at you as an objective, unbiased. Thank you so much. You will carry your Dear yes. viewers, we have my son, Mr. Shamsher Mohan Chaudhry. Chairperson of Tirumal PM. Thank you so much for staying with us and be with us uh, with Press Express. This is our policy talks platform. Again, someday, sometime, we'll would come with uh, another guest with another issues in front of you. Thank you so much.